Hey there, Scottsdale. Thank you guys so much for sharing your stories with us. Getting to hear and feel and experience all of the rescue heroes ourselves was life changing. We're so excited for you guys and for the Foothills Animal Shelter. You guys were awesome. All right, well, I wanna show you guys some of the rescue heroes and let you hear a little bit about their story. So let's go. Practiced waiting on him and uh, because I think he didn't touch me as touch me all. I was comfortable with reading with two in my mind. Like, okay, no one's gonna touch me because he's the dog. And um, I got comfortable reading. And I'm like, if I forget a word, I don't care. He, well, I was going through a hard time in high school because so many things happened. My mom got diagnosed with breast cancer. He comforted me through all that. I used to get so upset how people thought and about me. And when I when he came along, I like I don't care what people think about me anymore. He knows when I have anxiety. He like comes and tells me it's okay and he lays his head on my lap. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling down, he wants to be right next to you and snuggle. Um, Daisy's also very much like that. She's very, very feeds on emotion and really, really is, is helpful to that. In the time that we've had them, I think there's just, there's so many things that, you know, there's so many things that we get right in this world, but there's a lot of things that we get wrong. And I feel like what has taught us and what we share with our son is that it's important to be of service to those who don't have a voice. And it's important to, you know, care for them and stand up for them and, and help them. And so we really, I think, pride ourselves as a family on I'm um, giving back and being of service. Oh, that's an eight hour infusion and then you repeat it two weeks later and I'm in the hospital for that and getting stuck with needles because my veins stink. But just having him, just being able to be with him, it just it makes it all so much better. I, I want to say about a week and I had a seizure. He would not stop barking high-pitched squeals and I didn't even we'd only had him made not even a week and he was so already attached to me to alert Josh that hey something's wrong with mommy it it was amazing you know even it's better than like you know those life alert bracelets or anything like that because he was already attached to me he knew he knew something was wrong and the power of dogs is amazing having to go through um, some really bad relationships and live in a domestic violence shelter for a while. They kept me going. And um, so it meant a lot to have them with me and have a reason to get out of bed every day. And um, have them with me and fight for them. And um, give me a reason to keep going. <laughs> He alerts her um, probably four to five minutes before she's going to have a seizure. And it gives her that frame of time to go lay down or get into a safe place. And he stays by her, right by her side during the whole time. And um, one time at our, uh, at our home, she was on the floor and I wasn't able to lift her. But my husband came home and Jake pushed under my husband's arms to help him lift Dina off the floor. She just got me into volunteering and has really just opened up doors that I never thought po possible and it's, it's so good for you know, depression, well-being, 
and um, her dad's not here today, but he's, it's also been helpful for him too. And she's just been a wonderful dog. We we can take her anywhere and she just, the following she's developed is just amazing. So she just became more than just my family dog. She became like the community pup. Mm -hmm. And that's how you rescued me. If you like this video and you want to hear more Rescue Hero stories throughout the summer, don't forget to follow us along on our tour here on our YouTube channel and also check us out on Facebook and Instagram.